iceberg here in this video we're going to recreate uh, this uh, page right here from uh, this uh, UI kit uh, which uh, I'm going to leave uh, in the link in the description really clean uh, really modern so without further ado let's jump uh, right uh, into the video so the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're going to create a new frame which is going to be 1440 pixels of width since uh, that is a good uh, uh, width for a desktop page and we're going to rename the frame real quick and right after that we are going to add a layout grid which is going to be comprised of columns and we're going to do 12 columns and let's add a little bit of margin so we have some breathing room in this screen right here now also another thing that I like to do is to make uh, the layout grids uh, in light gray so that they don't interfere too much uh, within the design itself. So as the very first part we're going to recreate the logo which uh, is pretty simple. What we're going to do is we're going to create uh, this uh, circle right here. We're going to apply a linear gradient so that we have that uh, nice uh, smoothing effect and we're going to make this one blue all the way to a lighter tint of blue let's make it also 100 percent in opacity and uh, that uh, is gonna work fine let's uh, write uh, the uh, letter c we're going to increase the font size considerably and we're going to use uh, dm sounds as the main font uh, for this uh, logo let's make it bold Let's bring it all the way here. I'm going to duplicate this uh, and change the color to a dark so that we can, uh, so that we're go going to already have uh, the layer structure for the very next point. And uh, now we are going to create an outline stroke uh, out of this, uh, let's group it together. And uh, here we have uh, the base symbol of the logo. Now let's uh, write uh, the rest of the logo which as you can see have it over here and uh, let's uh, make this whole logo just smaller so that uh, it's going to be more in line with uh, the original so let's bring it over here and it doesn't need to be exactly the same we just need to go as close as we can now we're going to duplicate this uh, text right here and we're going to create a button. So let's write uh, sign in. We're going to make this uh, significantly smaller so that uh, it uh, fits well. Maybe a 16 uh, is going to work uh, well as uh, the uh, number. And uh, we're going to create a rectangle just around this uh, sign in. Let's bring it all the way here and uh, <clears throat> we're going to sample the blue color out of the original let's round it up all the way and we are going to give it a 10 percent opacity so that it doesn't interfere too much uh, and takes too much visual emphasis now we're going to use nuclear icons which as you might know by now i'm a big fan of since uh, it enables you to find icons real quick uh, and you can simply drag and drop them into the Figma file, so that's uh, really easy to do. Let's bring this one over here, and let's uh, bring the menu over on this side. Now at this point, what we need to do is to create a small background for this uh, section. So we're going to give it a background right here. And we're going to sample using uh, Ctrl plus C keyboard shortcut uh, in order to sample the, the color. And uh, we're going to add this uh, to text, so something to ask. Let's bring this one right here. Let's bring it up using Option Command and the up arrow key. So something to ask. And uh, as you can see in the original, this is all caps. So you might be wondering why I made it in small caps. And the reason being is that I want to show you this uh, really handy uh, case tool, which is uh, going to make uh, everything in all caps uh, for us. So it's gonna be really easy to, to adapt this. And uh, let's find 
a color here which is uh, it's going to be similar to the original and again we don't need to, to go exactly the same but somewhere around those lines uh, it's going to be totally fine now let's write in uh, help center let's remove uh, the all caps for this uh, sub headline and we're going to increase uh, the size uh, quite a bit we're going to make uh, this uh, dark and uh, at this point uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to basically copy and paste this uh, image and uh, if uh, you don't have the kit as uh, many of you uh, want I guess you can simply go on a resource like uh, freepeak.com or unsplash.com and you can find uh, uh, all sorts of different uh, royalty free images uh, and uh, these are my two uh, go-to websites when it comes to royalty free images so if you search something like crypto or NFT you're going to find a bunch uh, of uh, different uh, royalty free images uh, which uh, are going to come close in a one way shape or form and uh, by the way just before we move forward I want to remind you that uh, I recently launched uh, this uh, uh, new set of courses which is uh, a complete uh, uh, basically collection of all of the courses which I created over the past years and uh, usually I, would, I used to charge them at uh, 100 bucks uh, each uh, uh, around those lines more or less uh, as an average and uh, now I'm giving them all away for just 9 bucks so if you want to get started in UI UX design you have an entire 4 hour course on that if you want to learn design theory you have 6 hours of uh, me teaching you all the, uh, the essentials that you need for the design theory and uh, if you want to learn Figma, Sketch, Adobe XD, Photoshop and Canva you have different courses uh, as well as uh, uh, I'm going to teach you how to find uh, and uh, how to sell to high ticket design clients because being a good designer these days uh, isn't uh, the only skill that you need you need to be also a marketer and a good salesman if you want to uh, land uh, the high ticket uh, design contracts which uh, you are uh, I'm sure that you're looking for so that's uh, that I'm going to leave the link in the description now let's move on with uh, the rest so over here we're going to have this getting started uh, section so I'm going to copy this right here let's uh, start that and uh, going to make this one uh, smaller just a little bit and uh, now we're going to copy these uh, different uh, uh, items from the side uh, menu so this one is actually going to be quite a bit smaller we're going to duplicate these uh, just a few times as you can see we have different uh, icons for for these so just going to copy and paste them uh, over here in uh, alternative you can use uh, emojis for these uh, uh, there's definitely plenty uh, of alternatives uh, that you can use and let's make this text uh, even smaller since uh, it's gonna make it easier for us to update these let's bring it here on the right and uh, we're simply going to copy and paste the different text here so here's one here's the second one or actually that didn't copy and uh, let's copy this one as well all right now let's uh, trace a line in the middle of this column I'm going to copy this uh, to right here and uh, we're going to copy also the main uh, content and we are almost done with uh, this page all right we have the main content and uh, we're going to make this one significantly bigger and we are pretty much set with uh, the base we're going to continue 
on this uh, also in, uh, in another video. And um, I want to remind you that on my channel, I have over 700 videos. So uh, if you want to learn UI, UX design, web design, graphic design, uh, or anything in between, really, I'm sharing my over a decade of experience in the field. So if you're interested in that, check it out and I'll see you in the very next video.